Meaning, so my wife told me she can't have shit on her own. Fuck her. Fuck her. I can't have my vagina to my own. what it is it's friday and look I, I didn't do the queen supreme court on tuesday because i was debating whether or not i actually wanted to do it because i understand where uh maddie is coming from as far as um y'all bitches ain't offering nothing but y'all opinions okay so what i'm gonna do for the people who's actually monetarily supporting me instead of just offering old fuck shit opinion what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna give it to my patreon so i was debating as to whether or not i should do the review because i didn't want to um ruin it for um um people who could be potential patreons like if i'm giving the entire show to you then why would you go to the patreon but i figured out a way to do it right so what i'm going to do is i'm going to touch specifically on some topics and on some other topics i'm just going to graze over because if you want the full zhuzh then you need to do like me and pay for a patreon membership for ts medicine Okay. So my wife told me she can't have shit on her own. Fuck her. Fuck her. I can't have my vagina to my own. But child, you know I got that. What is that? That Hugo Boss. What is this? Oh, this is Boss Orange. Is that the Chip Boss? I don't know. I don't know. But that's a DC thing. So let's start it off like this. Okay. What you think I got on my lips today, y'all? Bam. The crawfish, the, oh, bam, that super scent crawfish. Ooh, you know what it is. It's time to review the Queen Supreme Court with co judges, Super Scent, and Funky Dineva. Let's get into it. Oh, oh, these is rich white people. Uh, Oh, those, that's a rich white person G-Wagon. Anyway, so anyway, let's get into this show, right? So, um, the first thing that was on that docket was the lady that got the, uh, that looked like me, Charlene, my sister, Googly Eyed Thompson. You know, she got a rap sheet longer than that chin hair. So then we get to Cardi B and Offset, the divorce. Um, and Funky Dineva approached the fact that she said she felt like she predicted that Offset would be the demise of Cardi B's, um, let's say, of Cardi B's uh, career, right? I don't think that. Sometimes controversy uh, brings the numbers. But what he did say, and Supercent co-signed, what I do absolutely believe is this. When you sign up to fuck with a street dude, you signing up to fuck with street shit. Meaning, bitch, if you ain't ready to kill a hoe, uh, co-sign on some type of luxury foreign car and for him to have bitches, other bitches riding around in it. If you ain't ready to deal with side babies. If you ain't ready to deal with a possible black eye. If you ain't ready to deal with, um, you know, embarrassment, don't sign up for it, you know? And even though I truly do believe the Cardi that was... Um, the Cardi that was Cardi before Cardi, oh, was down for the fuck shit. But see, Cardi got shit to lose now. Now Cardi's a mama. She ain't got time for nobody's fuck shit, okay? She's learning that, wait a minute. I don't have to just settle for some old street dumbass motherfuckers. I can get me old deluxe apartment in the fucking sky and never have to pay a dime for nothing. There's niggas out there that will buy me shit. And I ain't got to buy them a motherfucking thing, okay? Cardi, bitch. It's a white man named Mortimer in New York somewhere waiting for you to get a normal. You hear me? He waiting for your ass, okay? He ain't waiting to do the mayonnaise and peanut butter all over the goddamn place. He's waiting for you, bitch. Open your eyes, bitch. So then we get to the Maddie team, Nikki bullshit. Maddie, let that fuck shit go. Let it go, Maddie. Let it go. Girl, don't go, in, go, don't go down in flames with that bitch. 
Don't go down in flames with her. Fuck her. Fuck her. Where we're talking about Cardi B is nominated five times for the Grammys. And Nicki Minaj had, uh, what was it, 16, 17, 1,062 entries. And ain't getting nominated. Done. Zeros. Zeros times. Zeros. Agree with. There's a certain time frame for every female rapper. What I will say is that although there can only be one queen at a time or one reigning queen at a time, but the span of time is longer for a female rapper to reign than it is for a man because Funky Don even was saying it was like 10, uh, like 10 years. And I would say it was, it, it would be probably between five and 10 years. I would say for the most part, Little Kim and Queen B have maintained the longest span for me. But for men, the longest that they stay on top, unless you are like Drake, is three. They may still be relevant. How am I saying relevant or relevant? Y'all always get me on that shit. And that shit don't bother me none. I don't give two fucks about you. Pay, pay a bitch for her pain. But um, I think with men, it's like three to five years at the most. Except for Drake and Jay-Z. Y'all do y'all three years and y'all are done. But women, uh, for some reason, the industry loves them long. Oh, Kevin Hart and the Oscars. Again, what I will say about this is that uh, Funky Daniva said something that I always some say. You know, some things are just bigger than you in your opinion, right? To be able to be a black man that's under, what, five feet tall? To be able to host the Oscars, you know, and really and truly be, um, you know, I listen, he, Kevin Hart is white funny. He's not black funny. If you talk to the different cultures or the different races, nine times out of ten, when you talk to a black person, they're going to say that he's not funny. You know, a, a lot of us say that um, Kevin Hart is funny in um, stand up, but in the movies, he's corny as hell. Okay. And it puts us, it kind of makes us feel uncomfortable. I know it does with me whenever I see him in a movie. The fact that um, he should have just apologized. If white people only say to you, are saying to you, listen, just apologize, honey. You can still do the Grammys. I mean, not the Grammys, the Oscars. Just apologize. He said, no, I ain't going to do it. I ain't going to do it. I ain't going to do it. That, to me, is a detriment to him. And I've said this before, that what you do not do is when the people at the top I don't give a fuck what color they are. If they come to you and offer you a job and you don't fucking take it, oh, bitch, you ain't going to get nothing else after that. What you don't do is shit on the Oscars, okay? Because guess what? Stars, comedians, whomever the fuck, okay? What they do is they wake up every day and dream of an accomplishment to host the Oscars. Uh, Kevin under five feet tall, Williams. I mean, not Williams. Damn. You know what? They did say Cat Williams. Uh... In the show, kind of leaked them damn tweets. I say, that damn Cat Williams a whole nigga. He's a nigga for this. You a nigga for this, Valiant Vader. Where they talked about Michelle and Chad. Um, this is where I say, I'm going to leave it to um, you all to check out Maddie on her Patreon for this. Because um, there were some things that I think Funky Dineva, as controversial as he is or her persona is... Uh, she does touch some they talk about Winnie Harlow where she said Tyra Banks ain't do shit for her career now catch this tease oh child you gonna have to go to the Patreon for this one they gave some RuPaul little backdoor facts that I was like really bitch so all you drag race watchers and lovers that loves y'all some RuPaul drag race drag race which I do because I love them up and coming queens, okay? I love them. Y'all know I love me some James Caldwell, right? But uh, Maddie gave some old backdoor facts about it. And Funky Dineva talked to... Well, actually, Funky Dineva opened the door. And Maddie kind of gave, you know, some little, you know, pepper on the state. And then we get to where John Queens talk about he is the R&B king. Nigga, get the fuck out of here. Get all the way the fuck out of here. But what Funky Dineva said, tell me if you all agree that 
Bobby Brown is definitely the R&B king in name. But R. Kelly pissing on a goddamn squirrel. Or damn mouse or rat or goddamn pocketbook or car or, or, or lamppost or fight whatever. He want to pull his dick out on a piss on. That motherfucker is the R&B king in numbers. So then uh, they talk about the nuns. They talk about uh, the black church. Very good conversation. So then we get to one gotta go. Child, I like this entry. I like this one, y'all. So guys, don't forget to visit me and my sister every Sunday at one o'clock on YouTube Live. We do a show. It starts at one. It normally ends about two, two thirty, something like that, child. And we have a great time, right? And I kind of, you know you know kind of borrowed the one gotta go concept from maddie you know but it's a great time so now let's go ahead and talk about maddie's one gotta go jagged edge boys to men shy and jodeci my pick was shy only because their discography ain't nothing compared to the other three only thing i know is and if I ever fall in love. Remember this? The same people you meet on the way up will always be the same people that you meet on the way down. Naysayers, my patron love. Have a good one.